Hey everyone, Ben from Living Survival, and today we're going to take a look at the best camp utensil that I've ever reviewed. I've reviewed many, many different utensils, lightweight titanium utensils, and just standard utensils. When it comes to camp cooking, I've seen a lot of them, and today we're going to take a look at a product called the Splitter from Full Windsor. We're actually going to take a look at two of their products. One that's maybe a little better suited for a kit, sort of a multi purpose item. The other one I use all the time. It's got several different uses for the applications that I do most. So we're going to take a look at the splitter from Full Windsor. So today I have a few products from Full Windsor. Some really, really cool and very useful products to show you today. I have the splitter tongs, which are absolutely my favorite uh, ever since I got them. There's so many uses for them. And then they have the muncher. We're going to take a look at the muncher first. This one's not my favorite. It does have a lot of uses and it's very versatile. It would be great for maybe a kit. I'll probably just throw it in the bug out bag and leave it there. It is definitely useful if you did need to use it. But for just general camp cooking, the stuff that I do, whether I'm backpacking or whether I'm just car camping, the splitter is really the way to go for me and I'm excited to show you guys that today. So let's first take a look at the muncher real quick. It's kind of like a Swiss army knife. Uh, cooking utensil. It's got a clip up top with this bag that it comes in or this little pouch that it comes in, little rubberized pouch. You got a ferro rod up front. So again, it does have a lot of different features and it is small and compact and something that would be great to just put in a kit bag. Maybe you do want to throw this in your camp cooking setup and use it for maybe uh, day hikes or something. It would work great for that. Let's pull the actual tool out and take a look. So immediately out of the pouch, you can see that there is many different uses with this muncher tool. It's 0.7 ounces, so it is pretty lightweight, made of titanium. Uh, up front, you do have the spork here. The spork portion works really well. Not the sharpest tines on it, but that's good if you're going to you know, use it to eat soups and things like that. You don't want that scraping on your mouth as some other sporks tend to do. The bowl is pretty shallow on it, so again, eating things like soup or cereal isn't the best. Again, they sort of put a lot of different tools on here, and in my opinion, it's not the best at any one of those functions, but does serve as a great utility tool to have on you maybe in a kit. On the other side here, there is a serrated knife. It is quite sharp. It can cut through things like meat. The center portion here functions as a cap lifter and also a peeler. Uh, again, not the best at peeling. We, we sort of saw the same thing with the Gerber Complete, which I'm gonna compare to the uh, splitter tongs here in a moment. You have a, uh, obviously you have the fire starter and you can use this little portion here to strike that ferro rod. That works pretty well. Pry bar on the end here, it is pretty stout on the end here of the uh, the knife portion there, so you could use that to pry something open. You could probably pry a, a paint can with that. Then the last thing it can do is cut cordage. Probably wouldn't ever really use this tool for that. Uh, mainly, I'm gonna use a tool like this as an eating utensil, so really having these extra features on it uh, is kind of not necessary in my opinion, although they did make good use of the space. So there's that, the muncher. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on it because as you guys know, if I'm uh, you know, not personally really uh, into a product, I tend to kind of sh shy away from showing those, but many different people out there and somebody might really like this muncher tool. So definitely check that out. The product that I really like from Full Windsor and I've been getting a lot of use out of is their splitter tongs. So independently, you have two different tools here, both made out of titanium. You've got the spork. It's a nice long spork. So that's great if you are backpacking and you have those mountain house meals or for, uh, uh, for example, the long tool helps you get down to the bottom of the bag. Short tools just aren't going to get it done and you end up having to roll the bag down or cut the bag down to get down there. So it's really nice that right off the bat, you get a very long reach spork your bowl on this uh, the spoon portion is nice and deep so it's no problem eating cereal no problem eating soup that's really nice and then of course you have the spatula portion of it again titanium it's very thin so it works really well uh, to flip things like eggs or pancakes uh, something like the gerber just is a little bit thicker and doesn't really grab and doesn't really get underneath there uh, like this one does it's got a lot of surface area here too so you can flip bigger things like steaks pork chops, uh, and it's got this rounded serrated edge, so you could use that as a cutting tool, uh, although for me it worked really well to scrape the corners of my pot. Now anything non-stick you wouldn't want to use, uh, you know, anything sharp on that non-stick stuff, but for things like cast iron uh, that I use a lot of, 
uh, it works really well to scrape those edges, sort of like the, the, the scraper tool um, for uh, Lodge that they have. And then you can uh, stow these away simply by uh, the little notch there in the middle. Simply just slide those together and you've got this nice little package here that, uh, that works really well whether you're backpacking or car camping. And then of course onto the my favorite part of this is the tongs. You simply flip that over and there's a little uh, little button there on the end that slides in, locks in there, and then you have full featured tongs. Now again, both tools are really long, so you have a long reach there. That's really nice if you have you know a hot cooking surface. You're not you're not real close up trying to grab your food. Maybe it's splattering, and it's also very very wide here, so you can pick up really big things like big uh, you know chicken wings and chicken breasts, and you can use those to flip that around. That works really, really well. I can show you the difference here with the Gerber. Number one on the Gerber here, all the tools sort of come apart and then they're independent. They use this little peeler cap lifter thing here to lock the whole set in place and you can't really lock it in place without it. So you do have to have all these things in order to lock it together. More things to lose. They give you a spoon and a spork. Again, a fairly shallow bowl on this spoon here. They do work well. They are lightweight, so that's nice. But getting on to my favorite feature here um, of the uh, the splitter is the tongs. And right off the bat, you can see that not only do you have a much shorter uh, reach here, but the the gap here is not wide at all. And sometimes I'll find myself trying to you know extend it out. Maybe I got a big chicken uh, chicken leg or something to uh, to flip around. And you got to extend it with your hand, almost like chopsticks, to get down there and around it. Whereas you don't with the full Windsor, because you have automatically that that really wide area. And then again with the spatula portion here, much much better than the Gerber Complete. Now this one is rubberized, so this one's going to work better on like non-stick surfaces. It's not going to scratch that surface. But you can see here just the difference in size, and it really makes a big difference when flipping things like pork chops, steaks, pancakes, eggs. It really makes a big difference to have not only the wider surface area, but to have the much thinner material here. You can really you can really get under and scrape right under things uh, with the the full Windsor spatula so uh, all in all it's just a great setup here it's a real lightweight setup something that you could certainly take backpacking something you could certainly take uh, car camping you know it's, it just stays right in my kit and if I'm going backpacking I probably would just take the spoon portion because you got that nice deep spoon there and of course if you're just camping um, you could take you know the, the same setup here I love how it just locks in together it doesn't take up very much room You've got a nice low profile, uh, you know, set there. Now, Tokes does make some tongs as well where it's a spork and a spoon and then you connect them together with the sort of the rubber part. Again, I think those go a little wider, but again, they're going to be short reach. So the spork isn't going to work that great for the freeze dried uh, or dehydrated uh, foods. And of course, then you have an extra part, that rubber thing that connects them together, you have an extra part to lose. Really no extra parts to lose here other than the two utensils themselves. So I'm really, really liking this stuff from Full Windsor. Of course, there will be links below where you guys can check this out. Again, this is called the Splitter Tongs. And then the other product is the Muncher. Both great products for uh, different uses out there. So check these guys out. Definitely like what they're putting together so far. I think they do have some magnetic uh, camp wear as well, so that might be something we'll look at down the line. But for right now, I'm really enjoying using this splitter, and this thing is gonna be a mainstay in my pack. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the splitter. It's a fantastic tool for me. It's gonna stay in my camp cooking setup and I'll probably take the spork when I go backpacking. Nice long spork with a nice deep bowl to it. And then the tongs and the spatula itself work great no matter the scenario that you are faced with when you're doing your camp cooking. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me and share it to any friends or family who might be interested on your social media. If you haven't already done so, please consider clicking that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of new videos.